Hello, what is up people? My name is Teja and you're watching TechRaj YouTube channel and in this video what I'm going to do is really interesting. I'm going to show you a demo of how can hackers hack your Android phone or your smartphone by just sending an SMS. And maybe some of you guys might have watched some, uh, some interviews on YouTube where a hacker is interviewed and uh, the hacker hacks into the interviewer's uh, Android phone or smartphone by just sending an SMS. Now most of you must have watched it and I've watched a few of those uh, demos or interviews or whatever and I thought why not make a demo on that and in this video I'm going to show you a demo on about how actually hackers uh, does that how can someone gain access into your smartphone by just sending an SMS and unlike all the other videos I'm also going to show you uh, an in-depth what you say an in-depth explanation about how can hackers uh, manage to get access to your Android phone by just sending an SMS so without further ado let's get started and one more thing please do watch this video until the end there's a little surprise at the end so watch this video until the end don't miss that all right so let's get started all right so here i have my android phone and i'm going to show you a demo uh, basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to hack into my my own android phone from my laptop so basically i'm going to send an sms to myself and i'm going to you know show you what can happen if i open that sms and how it happens and what what all the hacker can do by just sending an sms so all right let's get started let's uh, let me shift the camera angle so that you can see my android phone or whatever Right, so here I got my smartphone with me and let me open the messages app. I did receive a message and the message says, Dear customer, get 5GB free data for your ID number by installing my idea app from here. So basically I do use a idea sim. So this message kind of makes sense to me because obviously I use an idea sim and if I get a message like this, uh, then obviously I will be thinking it is from, uh, uh, from the idea company and I have some offer for my idea number so obviously i'll open the link and you could also notice here that there is no mobile number for this message it came from something like hp dash followed by some number so usually that is how uh, messages come from companies so there are high chances that i actually believe this that i would be getting 5 gb data from uh, for my idea number and that too they are also asking me to download my idea app which is an official app released by Ma released by idea networks so obviously i'll be downloading that app all right so the app is downloaded now let me go ahead and install this app and there we go the app is now installed let me open it and there we go the app open and it is asking for uh, some permissions and uh, all these permissions are are obvious like for an app like my idea all these permissions are required so it's nothing suspicious and there we go it is the official my idea app which is officially designed by idea network so obviously there has to be nothing wrong with it right it's not any malicious app right if you think like that you're you're wrong because this is a malicious app though it is developed by idea networks it is a malicious app now let me uh, let us switch to the hacker's point of view and see what he can do when you install the app. So the hacker on his side actually has an MSF console opened up on his device and he's actually listening to a host and a particular port number. And the app which I downloaded by clicking on the link from the SMS is nothing but the payload of the hacker which is binded with the official my idea apk so that it doesn't look suspicious so whenever i open the my idea app that app in particular the payload which is included in that app is going to start a tcp connection to the hacker's device or to the hacker's server and when it happens the hacker will then have full access to uh, the smartphone to the victim's smartphone so once the reverse tcp connection is established the hacker can now start executing commands which will reflect on the victim's smartphone the compromised smartphone for example i can download all the messages on the compromised phone to my computer with a simple command and uh, there you go uh, that is the text file which contains all the messages on the compromised phone i actually managed to download it to my computer 
in the same way i can even download the call log of the compromised phone to my computer and there you go that is the call log on the compromised phone and then I can even locate the device exactly. I can get the exact latitude and longitude position of the device. And the most interesting thing of all, I can actually send an SMS from the compromised phone. So this means even without the owner of the phone knowing, I can send an SMS from their phone. As simple as that. So if you can see, I'm sending a test message to my friend over here. And when I hit enter, it's going to send the message to him from my compromised phone. And also, I can easily see or download any file that is existing on the compromised phone. Alright, so now I think you know how easy it is for anyone to get access into your uh, smartphone by just sending a simple SMS. And uh, I hope you guys will be careful from next time because you know whenever you receive an SMS asking you to download some app or visit a website, think once before doing it. Make sure that the message is coming from a valid sender and not from a hacker. And do not download any app, you know, when if, if you got a message saying that you are getting some uh, uh, unlimited data for your ATEL or idea or something like that and if you want to download an app uh, for example as I've shown you in this video the my idea app which I have downloaded if you if you do want to download the my idea app uh, make sure you you actually download it from Google Play Store because if an app exists in Play Store it means that the app is secure than the apps which are not existing on play store because google is going to do a review on the app and only after uh, google makes sure that the app is not malicious only then it will be allowed to be shown on the play store so if you want to download some app uh, like for example the my idea app or basically whatever app it is make sure you download it from play store and not from any any other external sources other than the official websites do not download any applications from any external sources because if you do download uh, an application uh, from an external website like I did in this video you just saw what happened everything is accessible uh, by the hacker you are completely hacked your personal info is with hacker now so it is a very dangerous thing and you, 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 you guys really need to be careful about it because uh, you guys should take cyber security seriously and if you don't uh, well i think you know what happens if you are not serious about uh, cyber security and i know you guys uh, will be asking me to provide a practical about how i did this i know you guys will be asking this so uh, obviously i can't post it on my youtube channel because it violates youtube's terms and policies but what is my website for well yeah i have actually made a practical video showing everything i did in order to achieve what i did in this video like hack my android phone from my computer so i did a, a practical video on that and that video i've posted it on my website so if you are not member of my website yet go to my website www.techcrash156.com uh, and you can sign up there and once you sign up you'll be able to access the videos and the most latest uh, the most recent video is uh, is about this practical so you can go uh, ahead and check out the practical video on my website the link will be in the description below or in the comments i'll be posting a comment too so i guess that's it for this video hope you learned something new hope you liked this video thanks for watching if you did not subscribe to my channel yet make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you have any doubts regarding this video or if you have any feedback or whatever just comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up below. Thanks for watching. Meet you in the next video. Cheers.